Hello everybody, Mike Fraser from Miller Industries. Today we're going to talk a little bit about our frame hook and our frame hook chain. For the last couple years we've offered the frame hook with the 5 foot grade 100 chain and today we're here to announce that we're going to offer just a hook with a hammer lock. So you can attach this to anything you want. You can attach it to a longer chain, a ratchet binder, or whatever you find suitable for your need. And now we're going to walk you through a few scenarios where you might find it useful to use this hook instead of a standard grab hook. In this scenario, we needed a longer chain, so we simply attached, with the hammer lock provided, the frame hook to a 15-foot grade 100 chain. And what we're going to do here is what I would always call long chaining, which is taking the hook, hooking it above the first axle, going underneath both axles, then hooking it into the chain hook attachments at the back of the frame rail and lifting it up, and that way you don't have to worry about stretching out them shocks or ripping them airbags. Some things you definitely want to be conscious about when using this method is brake components, brake lines, air lines, and shocks. You don't want to damage anything while hooking this up. And then just repeat what you did on one side on the other side. Now that we have this thing all chained up with the frame hook, we're going to use our Century 7035 equipped with the street underlift with 128 inches of reach to hook this thing up and head on down the road. With this hookup, I find it easiest to use our chain hook adapter. Now that we put the chain hook adapter in the fork receiver, you just take the tail end of the chain and simply hook it into the fork hook adapter. Now just repeat that on both sides. When using this method, I've always found it easier to use a piece of angle iron. Then the chains won't crawl up that frame rail in order to ride down the road nice and level. So now that we have this thing hooked up, Simply install your safety chains and tow lights and go on down the road. Hey guys, another great scenario for the use of this frame hook is when you're hauling heavy equipment. No binder manufacturer ever will recommend that you use the grab hook to hook to the track or to the edge of that double drop trailer. This hook is designed to be throw loaded where this hook isn't. So this hook, when it's hooked into the side of that trailer or into that track, it's being used the way it was designed. So here we just have our standard five foot chain that we've been selling for the last couple years. You can see how perfectly that hook fits into that crack. Take the opposite end with the binder, hook it on the trailer, your grab hook in the chain like it was designed to, and simply just tighten it down just like it was designed. So now you have your grab hook into the chain as it was designed, and our frame chain onto the track where it's being throw loaded how that hook was designed. It's a perfect scenario on how to use these chains. Another great use for the hook is on our industrial carriers. The Miller Industrial Carrier is equipped with the wider chain pocket, fits in perfectly. Here we have a Landau trailer, and it's perfect for that also. Fits right in without a problem. Hey guys, if you have any questions on this great hook, don't hesitate to reach out to your local Miller Industry distributor. And thanks for watching, and make sure you subscribe to our news feed and stay up to date on all the latest news and information from Miller Industries. Miller Industries, the world leader in towing and recovery equipment. This video is for product demonstration purposes only and is not intended for training or instructional purposes. Situations vary and operators should rely on their own professional knowledge and safety procedures when conducting actual recoveries.